How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and this video is a quick little building tutorial showing you how to build a balcony in Ark Survival Evolved. For anyone who is new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And as you can see on the screen right now is a full list of building materials you will need for this build. Now that material list only includes the Adobe version that I'll be showing you as an example in the video. If you want to do the stone version, I will explain at the end of the video what you will need to replace. And you can also find this building list in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, everyone, so real quick before we get started with the balcony, as you can see, I've laid out a three wide Adobe foundation and I've added three high Adobe walls to each of those foundations. Now, the height of this is only to give our balcony a little bit of a more realistic look as we're building it so that it's not sitting on the ground. However, the width of this is important. You will need a three wide space to do the balcony the way I'm about to do it. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into building this balcony. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to the leftmost wall and we're going to place a thatch door frame just like this. We're then going to come to the middle wall and get out a wooden double door frame and we are going to flip the door frame around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Then on this last part right here, we're going to get out a thatch door frame again and again we're going to flip the door frame around so that it places like this. Now we're just going to go ahead and fill these in with their appropriate wooden doors. Now for this next step, we're gonna come in here between where we have the thatch door frame and the wooden double door frame. And on top of that, we're going to hang a thatch ceiling kind of overlapping the two of them like that. We'll add another one here to the right of it and we'll add two more out in front of them. Now we're gonna go down here below these ceilings and we're gonna get out Adobe stairs. And we're gonna be looking for this snap point right here so that it's kind of crossing into where we have our doors. Go ahead and place one of those on each ceiling. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy these first two thatch ceilings right here and then replace these last two with adobe ceilings now for this next step we're going to come to the inside of our build and the first thing we're going to do is come in here and open up all of these doors so that they point outward then we're going to go ahead and get out an adobe wall and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it placing where it is replacing that thatch door frame. Go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and replace the wooden double door frame as well as the other thatch door frame. Now we're going to come in here to the top and we are first going to get out a greenhouse double door frame and place it right here in the middle. We'll then place a thatch ceiling out like this and get out an adobe double door frame. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this bright green snap point. Go ahead and place that. You can now pick up or destroy this thatch ceiling. Then we're going to get out a greenhouse double door. And again, you may need to rotate the snap point, but you're going to want to get this bright green one that is lining up with our greenhouse double door frame. And then we're going to go ahead and get out an adobe double door. And you're going to be looking for this light blue one that is lining up with our adobe double door frame and go ahead and place that down. You can then go ahead and open this one up so that it points out like that. All right, now we're gonna come in here to this opening on the left and place a thatch door frame. We'll do that again here on the right. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a metal railing and we're gonna be looking for this snap point that's on the side of this ceiling, just like this. Go ahead and add two more here on the front and one more here on this side. And then you can go ahead and replace these two thatch door frames with adobe walls and add another row of adobe walls on top. 
All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of our balcony. Now I am gonna go ahead and paint this thing and bring in a little bit of decorations on the balcony to make it look a little better. And I'm also gonna throw up a quick version of this in stone to give you kind of the medieval version of this build. So guys, if you wanna see all of that, stick around for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right, everyone, so like I said, I've gone ahead and painted these, brought in a little bit of decorations and thrown up a stone version to give you an example of how you could incorporate these balconies into your castle or medieval style builds. So first here on our original one, I have painted all of the adobe with the tan color, minus those adobe double doors, I painted those tangerine, and then all the greenhouse metal and wood has been painted with the mud color. I've just brought in a crop here to kind of have an outside plant, and I've also brought in some vessels and torches just to kind of clutter up the balcony. Here on our stone version, I've kind of tried to make this look like the tower of a castle, so that's why we have the door frames there at the top with the pillars. And then I decided to use a just regular reinforced door instead of the double doors there. And then, yeah, we just switched everything to stone. And I just brought in some storage and some torches here on the outside. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this quick little video. I really hope you enjoy this new technique and that it's something you can use to spruce up your own builds. If you did enjoy the video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some feedback down in the comments below on what you think. And if you're new to the channel, go check out some of my other building tutorials. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today. Check out this video and have a great day.